Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, American Boy Collects American Girl. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. Uh, a little bit ago, I got back from Walmart after work, and I finally found the new Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright dolls. So yes, here is Miss Strawberry. Okay, sorry, the lighting is not the best. Um, I am not going to be taking them out of the box tonight. I just wanted to show that I finally found them. Right now, the only ones that are available is Strawberry and Rainbow. So, and then here's the side of the box. The top where you can see her hat. Uh, the other side, so the sides are basically the same. On uh, the bottom, the UPC code. And then the back. So the back has the little mystery things. Um, if I do open this, I'm not going to break these open, sorry. <laughs> I want to keep the box as intact as possible, because I probably will end up displaying her in the box, because I don't really want to take her out of the box. Anyway, um, so like I said, the only ones that are available right now is Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright. Um, according to, I don't know if these are the only other ones that are being made, or if there's going to be other characters besides this, but the other ones that are shown here is... Lemon Meringue, Orange Blossom, Raspberry Tart, and Blueberry Muffin. I don't know if these are all going to get made. I mean, I think these ones obviously are going to get made, but I thought somewhere I saw Plum Pudding was in here too, but I don't see... I don't know if there's going to be more than this. I mean, I know there's a ton of characters for Strawberry Shortcake, so I don't know if they're... I don't think they're doing all of them. I hope they do more for Rainbow Bright. Let me get her real quick. So, Strawberry Shortcake is pretty much around the same size she was when um, she was on, she was out during the 1980s. Um, however, Rainbow Bright, this is the smallest version I have ever seen of Rainbow Bright as a doll. I was a little disappointed though because I thought this was going to be the 18 inch version, but I guess the 18 inch is going to be like the, the rag doll version where they have the plastic head and the rest is all cloth. Um, so I kind of was disappointed about that because I thought we were actually going to get 18 inch versions of the, you know, kind of like the American Girl dolls, um, like for Rainbow Bright, because that would have been really cool, I think. I am, one thing I am a fan of, and I know for a lot of years, Strawberry Shortcake has been the same, but then there was a while there she wasn't, or they like modernized her, but it's kind of cool to see her back to the original. And I especially like this, that they brought back Rainbow Bright to look more original to the iconic cartoon. So she's had so many changes over the years. It seems like every time they change it, it's always a flop. Like nobody, like everybody is still true to the original one. Um, on the side, it shows Rainbow Bright with her Sprite Twink. Same on this side. At the top, you can see her hair bow. And fun fact, at least they have the hair bow right. If you got a 1980s Rainbow Bright doll, she actually had a royal blue ribbon in her hair not purple like it was on the uh doll um and then of course the bottom and then here's the back again you get the different surprises so i'll be definitely taking it out from the top um and again i don't know if they're going to do all of them but here is the ones they are going to be doing they have tickled pink they have stormy they have indigo lala orange and patio green i hope they do more because it's like frustrating for me rainbow bright's the one that's most frustrating for me it's like we have not had a complete run of any line of Rainbow Bright dolls where they've come out with the entire collection before they fizzled out. Like originally in the 1980s, you got Rainbow and you got all the regular seven color kids, um, red, yellow, orange, blue, purple, green, and indigo. Then you got the secondary colors where there was a second version of Rainbow Bright as a dress-up doll, and then they had tickled pink. But Moonglow only made it to the UK. She never made it over to the United States. And Stormy never made it past Prototype. So and any Stormy you can find out there now is going to be a custom Stormy that somebody's made to look similar to the Prototype. Um, and so, yeah, so it's kind of frustrating. So I'm like, because like in this grouping, uh, where are the two boys, Buddy Blue and Red Butler? Um, Red and Blue are boys. Um, there's no boys on here. <laughs> So I'm like, um, what happened here? <laughs> and like with the, um, like the little itty bitties when they revamped it like a few years ago from Hallmark, they did finally do Tickle Pink and Stormy, um, both as dolls, the bigger dolls and also the little itty bitties, but they never, 
never finished out of the line so we never had the itty bitty for moon glow and you never had the itty bitty for canary yellow and yellow is one of the main colors of the rainbow so that's like a little a little strange um and again canary yellow isn't featured here so it's like um okay what's up with this so it's like you're getting three of the yeah you're getting three of the colors of the rainbow because pink and pink and tickle pink and stormy are not two of the main characters there and again we're not getting moon look glow so what's up with that so yeah that's kind of frustrating so yeah um there should be four other colors. Yeah, you're missing blue, red, yellow, and I don't even have violet. They do shy. I thought they did shy violet. I guess not. And like even in the itty bitties, I like I missed out because shy violet was a uh, online exclusive, and so was Lala Orange. And I did find out before um, Lala came out, so I got her, but I missed out on shy violet. So I'm like, okay. I think the only thing I'm not a fan of, I think if I remember correctly, they did their, per the sprites are as their little purse instead of an actual character. So I think that's a little weird. But um, anyway, but I do like, I don't know if you can see, I think it's plastic for the boots. I'm not 100% certain, but yeah, this is really fun. And I like it's got the hair, instead of yarn hair, it's got like the American Girl kind of doll hair, I think. I mean, I haven't actually touched it to feel like what it's made of. But I think it's cool that they and they also kept their face a little bit more true to the original. So yeah, it's very cool. Anyway, I'm going rambling. <laughs> anyway, oh, there was one other thing I got. Apologies, there's a stack of books in the back. Um, so yeah, I've been collecting these as I've seen them, the little Care Bears. Um, I hadn't seen this one before. This is actually a miniature version of one of the newer ones called Togetherness Bear. This is not an original 1980s Care Bear or any other other releases. A modern one for like this time period in 2020s. Um, yeah, so I didn't, hadn't seen that before. And I guess these were the ones because I got Cheer and I got Harmony and I got so laugh a lot grumpy and good luck and i got all those but i didn't know there was a sixth one so this is kind of cool so yeah i think i have all of them now i think there was fun shine too was another one also they had i actually wish they'd come out with all the characters because these are kind of fun i mean i think this size is also perfect for american girl too um and in all honesty too like i th feel like um this version of rainbow bright could almost, I don't know, I'd have to compare it to like the miniature Molly, but I almost feel like this is almost the right scaling for Courtney. I don't know. Um, definitely not Strawberry Shortcake, because Strawberry Shortcake, okay, so this is definitely way smaller for a, um, well, here, let me put them side by side, you can see, you see they're both the same size. Whereas you can see that Rainbow Bright is a lot smaller than Strawberry Shortcake. Strawberry Shortcake, I think, is true to the size the dolls were in the 1980s. Whereas Rainbow Bright is significantly smaller because Rainbow Bright was never this small. Um, I don't remember how tall they were. Um, the little dolls. But they were not this small. So I almost feel like this Rainbow Bright could almost be Courtney's Rainbow Bright. I don't know. Anywho, again, I haven't taken it out to compare it. Well, actually, hang on. I was getting ready to send a doll to the doll hospital. She's got some loose limbs. So let's just take a quick gander at the size comparison. Oh my goodness, like, look, okay, so this is 18 inch. Oh my goodness. Don't you think Rainbow Bright could totally be Courtney's doll? I know this isn't Courtney. I'm actually not sure who this doll is, <laughs> um, uh, but I'll be sending her to the doll hospital, so I'm actually going to be working on a video for that too. Um, but yeah, but this could totally be Courtney's doll. Out of here. That's another video coming later, <laughs> but I there was one spot I kind of was curious to see if it would actually come off her leg So I wanted to find that out before I sent her in and it actually did so that's cool anyway um, But her limbs are really loose. So yeah This is the one I'm really really excited about because honestly um, I mean, I've always been like a fan of the Care Bears. They've been always my top favorite for the stuffed animals um, like ever since I was a kid, I think every one of them I got was from a yard sale or a thrift store or somewhere like that, or off of eBay. Um, like Strawberry Shortcake, this is the only doll mom had was in the 1980s. Um, but I had two cousins that were obsessed. They had like almost the entire collection. Like I remember still to this day, one time we were visiting Mount Michigan that they um, 
the two girls were all out in the bathroom upstairs and they were they had stripped all the clothes off the dolls and they were washing their uh, I don't think they washed out but they were washing their bodies of the dolls and then and one of the moms had to get after him because like uh, you know people need to use the bathroom too because we had a lot it was like a family reunion kind of thing so we had a lot of people staying there also so and there was a half bath downstairs but the full bath was upstairs um but yeah but this is definitely I think this is definitely way too big I feel like this is way too big for Courtney because this is the size that it was for the person whereas the other one is not so but I but I've always loved Rainbow Bray I thought they were so fun and so crazy. I think they are the original dolls to to have unnatural hair colors. I mean, obviously, like rainbow, that can be a blonde. That's not like yellow, yellow. It could be come back. Yeah, could be classified as blonde. Um, but yeah, I just I just have always loved the colors. I love the storyline. And like, I wish it was out for more than one season. And I really don't care for it so much when it went to the movies because the movies were like they were all in these weird locations and it wasn't on Rainbow Land and. I don't know. I, like, I haven't watched them in forever, but I like the storylines better when it, when the villain was just murky, dismal, and lurky, and not all these other darker villains. Anyway, okay, I'm rambling. This is way longer video. Not want to go twelve minutes. So yeah, um, let me know what you think about these dolls. You're excited for these the fortieth anniversary of Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright. Um, I think it was fortieth for her too, wasn't it? Okay, it doesn't specify fortieth on Strawberry Shortcake specifically. Oh wait, yeah, no. No, it doesn't. I don't know how. I, I think Strawberry Shortcake is around the same time. But 40th anniversary of Rainbow Bright. Are you excited to see what other dolls are going to bring out? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. You know how to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.